Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look at radical equations. Now obviously you can test a radical equation if it has a radical. Now in this case, notice that we have the cube root of this term, right? So it's not just a regular square root, this is the cube root. Now what I want to do here is isolate what's in my cube root. So that means I got to get rid of my minus 2 and send it over to the other side. So, add 2 to both sides, bring this down, cube root of 2x minus 4 is equal to 2. Now, in order to get rid of a cube root, you got to take the cube on both sides. So, take the cube, cube. Now what happens here is that my cube root gets cancelled out and I only have what's inside. So I only have 2x minus 4 equal to 8, 8 cubed, 8 to, I'm oh, sorry, uh, 2 cubed, so 2 to the third power is 8. Now you know how to solve this. Add 4 to both sides, 2x is equal to 12, divided by 2, x is equal to 6. Now, I'll tell you right now, when you're solving radical equations, you have to check your answers. Once you solve for your variable, you need to check for any extraneous uh, solutions. That means that, uh, th that they don't exist. So here, I would go ahead and put a 6 in here. Uh, so 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So this does check out. Uh, you can work it out uh, on paper if you want to. Uh, but my solution set is just 6. Let's try another one out. All right. Let's look at this one. This is the square root of x minus 1 equals to x minus 7. Now, just so you know, these two radicals are the same. Okay. This means the square root. Now, we use square root so much that it's just not written. We're going to write the little uh, 2 on my radical sign. We've agreed that since we use it so much, we don't have to write the 2 there. All right? But if we're taking any other kind of root, like let's say the fourth root, then we have to write it in there. Okay? It's accepted that if it's blank, it's a square root. So, here I have a square root of x minus 1. So, in order to get rid of a square root, I got to go ahead and square both sides. By the way, notice that I had it alone. So, this was already on this side. So, so now this is gone. It gets cancelled out. x minus 1 equals x squared minus 14x plus 49. Now, I'll go ahead and move everything to one side. So, minus x plus 1. And notice I'm deciding to move two things at the same time. And that's okay. If you're comfortable with doing that, you can go ahead and do that. Plus 1. So, I have 0 is equal to x squared minus 15x plus 50. Now notice what I have. I have a quadratic equation. So now I need to go ahead and solve it. You can do it whichever way you want. Um, this one's not so bad, so I'm going to go ahead and factor this one. This one should be x factor this one. Now remember, either x minus 10 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. So x minus 10 equals 0 or x minus 5 equal to 0 plus 10 plus 10 x equal to 10 and here x is equal to 5. Okay. Don't forget, radicals you need to go ahead and check the solutions. So my original equation looked like 
this, x minus 1 equals x minus 7. I'll go ahead and I'll substitute these inside and see what happens. So let's see. So square root of 10 minus 1 equals to 10 minus 7. Square root of 9 equals 3. And I see that that's true. 3 does equal 3. It's all right. It's good. Now I want to try the same thing with 5. So square root of 5 minus 1 equals 5 minus 7. This is the square root of 4 equals to negative 2. 2 does not equal negative 2. So 5 is not an answer. It's not part of your solution set. All that I would write here is uh, 10. Okay. That's an extraneous solution. You don't want that. All right, go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to show you the answers in 3, 2, 1. All right, here are your solutions. I hope you got them right. All right, this one's going to be long, so get ready. Do you notice what I have? I have two terms that are in radicals. By the way, please notice that because of this radical, the square root symbol, it makes this one term and all of this one term. If this wasn't here, then 2x would be one term, this would be your second, this would be your third, and your fourth. But here you just have two big terms. Ah, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to square both sides. Now first what I'll want to do is, let's, get, let's keep this on the left, and let's move this radical to the right. So, it looks something like this. Plus square root of x plus 2, plus square root of x plus 2. By the way, notice that I cannot combine these, these are not like terms. So I have square root of 2x plus 3 equal to square root of x plus 2. This is a positive 2, so plus 2. Now from here, I'll take the square on both sides. Now I chose square because this is a square root, and I want to get rid of it. Square. Notice that on this side it goes away. So, I just have 2x plus 3 equals... Remember, this is like one term. Alright, if you remember the shortcut for, uh, for squaring, when you square two terms, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, here it looks like this. If this is squared, that means that this has gone away. I just have x plus 2. I'm going to get b and a. Okay, so it will be 2 square root of x plus 2 times 2. So plus 4 square root of x plus 2. And now just square b. Plus 4. Alright, now I've got a bunch of terms everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and collect them. So let's see. Let's go ahead and move everything that's not a radical to one side. So let's see. This is plus 6. Okay, remember, they're on the same side. So 2 plus 4 is 6. So I really have x plus 6 here. So minus x minus 6, because I'm moving it to my other side. Minus x minus 6. This just becomes x minus 3 equals to 4 square root of x plus 2. Alright, notice that I still have this. What we just did is that we made this problem into one of the first ones we did. We want to get this square root, uh, this radical by itself. So, squared squared. So this was a long one. So, same thing here. a squared would be x squared plus 2ab would be minus 6x plus 9 equals, see, 4 squared is 16 
and the square root here would go away. So remember, this is one big term here. So this would just be x plus 2. There, we finally got rid of our radicals. Well, notice that I have a quadratic equation now. And I want it 0. So I'm going to distribute this and move everything to the left side. So this becomes 16x plus 32. x squared minus 6x plus 9. Move everything to the other side. Minus 16x minus 32. Minus 16x minus 32. This would be x squared minus 22x minus 23 equal to 0. There, I finally have a quadratic equation. I'm going to go ahead and solve it. And remember, when you're messing with these, you got to check back in your, into your original equation. So, uh, let me go ahead and factor this one. This should be 23 times 1. Yeah. So, x, x, 23, 1. I need that to be negative. So, negative, positive, 23. Negative 23 plus 1 would give me negative 22. And when I multiply, they get back negative 23. So this is my correct factorization. I'll go ahead and split this up. x minus 23 equals 0. Or x plus 1 equals 0. Plus 23 plus 23. x equals 23. x equals negative 1. Don't forget, now you check. Okay. Our original equation okay, looked like this. I'm going to go ahead and check both sides. Square root. Okay. Here's where x is equal to 23. The square root of, let's see, 2 times 23 equals 3 minus the square root of 23 minus 2. Sorry, plus 2. Alright, let's see. Square root of 46 plus 3 minus the square root of 25. This is 49. Square root of 49 is 7 minus 5, which is equal to 2. And if we look at what we have, Yes, it was supposed to equal 2. So, right now we have one solution, x equals 23. Now we try the same thing for negative 1. So, where x is equal to negative 1, I will write square root of 2 times negative 1 plus 3 minus square root of negative 1 plus 2. Square root of, let's see, negative 2 plus 3 is 1, so square root of 1, minus negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Square root of 1's are it's equal to 0. And it's not supposed to be equal to 0, it's supposed to be equal to 2. So, we see that we only have one solution here. My solution set is... 23, negative 1 is not a solution. So don't forget to check all your answers for this one. All right? All right, go ahead and pause the video and try this one out. I'm going to show you the answers in 3, 2, 1. All right, here's your solution set. I hope you got it right.